It's a lifestyle for the rough and rugged kind The tougher the game, the longer the pain, the better the ride We do what we can to stay ahead Cause the modern world wants us left for dead You better believe as long as we breathe the sun's gonna rise We dig real deep, try a little harder, buckle down tight Go a little farther so we can look back and be proud of what we've done Sometimes we gotta work under the gun Don't sweat the battle, make sure the war's won Keep on keeping on, cause the bottom line It's a labor of love we call the grind The Grind Waterfowl TV is brought to you by Canadian Waterfowl Supplies, Dakota Decoy, premium gunning decoys for demanding hunters, Lucky Duck Premium Decoys, Masters of Deception, Heavy Shot, I didn't come this far to miss, Wild Ear, custom fit hearing protection and enhancement. Delta Waterfowl, the Duck Hunters Organization. Pro Drive Shallow Water Outboards. Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. Sitka Gear, turning clothing into gear. And these fine sponsors. couple weeks before Christmas and we are headed to Billings, Montana to hunt with staffer, Lucky Duck staff, Dakota Decoy staffer Ted Wells. Um, he's been smashing Canada's and Mallards on the Bighorn River so we're pretty pumped to get there. We're going through Rapid City, South Dakota right now and the temp is 65 degrees. I believe it's December 11th. Unheard of. It's crazy. No snow anywhere. So we're hoping the warm weather doesn't put a damper on the hunt, but we're pretty pumped to get out there and see the bighorn. You're walking across the street from the hotel with your new gun and there's a cop that comes right by you. Thank goodness, what, Montana's an open carry state. Yeah, we carry these around here. <laughs> <laughs> That's ironic. Hello, Kevin. Good morning. How you doing? We're doing great. We're gonna be better soon when we're shooting some ducks. Got about an hour drive, I think, ahead of us, and we'll be on the river. We got Bodie. Hanging out in the truck, ready to go. Here we are in Billings, Montana. It's about 40 degrees, it feels like right now. It's pretty warm out, but uh, heading out to the Bighorn River, gonna chase mallards. Ted thinks we might even have a shot at some honkers on the water, so Ted's my kind of hunter. He doesn't think we need to be there like an hour before sunrise. We're gonna get out there, the sun will probably be up move up the river, there's a big roost we're gonna go look at, get set up, wait for them to come back from the fields. So, pretty excited to be here. We're with Kevin Sloan from Sitka, who's joining us this morning, hopefully all week. So, we're looking forward to hunting with him, chasing some big horn mallards and geese. Here we go.
I think we're in God's country, man. Check this canvas out right now. Couldn't ask for anything better. This has been a bucket hunt for me. Bucket list hunt for me for probably about the past eight, nine years, so. I'm, I'm amped up right now, I'm ready to go. This is gorgeous. Okay. On a Gore-Tex product is the, like, this is Windstopper. Yep, these are both Windstopper. If, if this was a Gore-Tex, is, the, is, is there a layment on top of Gore-Tex? Is that how that works? There is, so Gore-Tex, um, so <clears throat> the three-layer Gore-Tex, which is what everything we're building at Sitka is, is we're not using any two-layer product, mainly just because of the, uh, the demands of hunting. Um, we found that the demands of hunting um, are so extreme versus some other sports, whether it be you know, climbing through brush, grinding on, you know, abrasion. Like one of the things we learned with um, building our duck jackets was guys in layout blinds or just guys in um, that are hunting blinds all the time, the abrasion on the yep. elbows yep. from them pushing off or just rubbing. Um, so we've learned a lot about from, from the durability side and the needs of the hunter versus some other activities like mountaineering, things like that, where you'd think guys climbing Everest would be you know, the most extreme thing. Yeah. And one of the things we found is some of the hunting activities are actually more demanding on gear yeah. um, than mountaineering and that type of thing. So how many different layers say? Are you yeah, so everything you'll see from us is a three layer Gore-Tex, okay. right? So we'll have a backer, the actual uh, PTFE membrane, which is Gore-Tex, and then an outer face fabric, which is what you f actually see. And what you're actually seeing is not Gore-Tex, you're seeing and that the outer, outer fabric will allow perspiration through it? Absolutely. Okay, yep. so the Gore-Tex pulls it out, keeps it out, and yep. that's the theory, <clears throat> keeping skin dry. Yep. 
We yeah. keep you dry to keep you warm. Yep. Welcome to Delta Waterfowl's Conservation Corner. Hi, I'm Frank Rohr. I'm president at Delta Waterfowl. This season on the Grind Waterfowl TV, we're going to highlight some of the things that Delta Waterfowl does to help ducks and duck hunters across North America. Delta Waterfowl is the duck hunters organization and, and we focus here on the prairie pothole region because this is the region that has the greatest impact on duck production. Duck production is what it's about for hunters. I, I don't know of any hunters that have seen too many ducks in their decoys. We'd all like to see more ducks. And so that's why Delta focuses on this prairie pothole region, because it's duck production that drives populations and managing production here on the prairies is what Delta is all about. So as the duck hunters organization, we see it as our role to, to try and address the problems ducks face on the prairies. So right now what happens, we have absolutely no wind. The birds were in both sides of the field yesterday. So we set up exactly like how we scout, but now what we're finding uh, of a couple flocks is that they're wanting to finish on the backside of us because there's no wind. So therefore they can just do whatever they want to do. So we're pulling the decoys out right now and we're getting them out here so that we don't have to worry about them landing back on this side. So we need the birds in front of us, not behind us. What we're doing now, they're moving decoys around a little bit. We've got a day, we've got really no wind, and it's warm. The geese really aren't hungry, but they're, what we're just trying to do is pull them in a little tighter to us. They're putting some little family groups out now. We're gonna see if we can't just divert them. Actually, this sounds goofy, but away from the decoys and more toward us. So we're pushing the decoys out a little bit. Hopefully we'll pull the geese in a little bit tighter to us. Well, it's, we took a little break from hunting. I've been hounding the local boys to get us out here to Custer's. The last stand, I guess, the big Battle of the Bighorn took place here. Got to tell you, it's kind of creepy. Kind of gives you the chills. But over 200 of our early soldiers lost their lives in that battle. And kind of cool. Here we're standing at the 
the unmarked graves, it looks like most of them, but pretty cool actually. A little bit of, little bit of history, we were so close we, we had to come and see it. It's pretty cool. Hi guys, Bill Wilroth with the Grind Waterfowl TV. We're running the Pro Drive X Series boat. We've got a 2054 model that we're running. And I just want to show you some of the features that I've really grown to like about this boat. Some of the things we, I really like about this thing is it's got a raised floor. So as you climb in out of the water or set decoys in the boat, the water immediately runs off the floor down into a channel. You and your gear are up in, in dry conditions. Um, it's got a nice big dry locker box up here. We keep, we keep everything from, there's a case of heavy metal in there. We've got life jackets in there. Uh, we keep Lucky Ducks in there. It's incredible, it's a, it's a dry storage box. Another really cool feature is this, this is a dry box that comes with the boat. Um, it's, it's adjustable, you can put it wherever you want it. If you're using it for other features, all you do is there's some bolts on the side of this thing. You just literally can unscrew them with your hands. The box itself has the same type of screw in it. Release them. This box can be placed anywhere you want it in the boat. It's got a nice dry box back here. Doubles as a seat slash storage unit. We keep a little bit of everything in there. There's a new Lucky Duck HD. Uh, keeps it up nice and dry. When we're in the marsh, another really cool feature, the boat has built-in pole holders. One in the bow, one in the stern. So you get in the muck, you can bury that thing in and keep your boat wherever you want it. Uh, really good in the mud. The fuel system on this thing is really nice. Uh, there's no built-in fuel tanks. What we've done is we've got two six-gallon tanks. They've got holders for the tank up under the under the dry box there. What's cool about that, like we leave the boat in the water a lot of times, you can grab your tank, take it to the gas station, fill it up, bring it back to the boat without pulling the boat. Built-in tanks are nice, but you pretty much have to pull the boat to get gas in it. So it's just an all right, all around perfect boat. Gear hauler, we don't have a blind on it, but you can sure put a blind on it. But it's a workhorse for us here at the grind. 
Well, it's uh, the end of day three in Montana. Ted worked his tail off for us here. Um, once again, we brought the dark cloud with us and brought in the weather unconducive to hunting. We had a good Canada shoot yesterday. Uh, we ran the Yellowstone River today. Everyone got scared. We got to run some rapids in a mud boat, which was interesting. The old Pro Drive did good. Um, we're about to load things up, head down I-90. We're about to roll, head back into South Dakota. Next stop, Illinois. It's a lifestyle for the rough and rugged kind. The tougher the game, the longer the pain, the better the ride. We do what we can to stay ahead, cause the modern world wants us left for dead. You better believe as long as we breathe, the sun's gonna rise. We dig real deep, try a little harder, buckle down tight, go a little farther so we can look back and be proud of what we've done. Sometimes we gotta work under the gun, don't sweat the battle, make sure the war is won. Keep on keeping on, goes the bottom line, it's a labor of love we call the grind. Visit our website, www.thegrindwaterfowl.com, where you will find past episodes as well as tips and tactics from the boys here at The Grind. Follow The Grind on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.